All right, guys. It's rainy as all hell, but I'm out here with the on the water review. Daiwa 50th anniversary CT Type R. <clears throat> so far, it cashed pretty good. That's 20 pound braid. Got the brakes set to eight. Got a pretty light weight on there. Found this pond here on Google Maps. I haven't hit anything in it yet. I just started fishing it. See if I couldn't uh, find hook up. But so far, this reel is nice and smooth. Cast pretty good. No hits as of yet. Oh, there was a hit. I got a bump right there. Felt like something small. Oh, I'm hooked up. Oh, it's a mutter. Oh, got him. Nice. That's a healthy little bass right there. I didn't think anything was going to be in here. Wow. All right, there we go. Talk about on water review. Got, got us one. There it is, guys. Nice little large, maybe two pounds or so. It's good looking fish. Well, so far, so good. For the on the water review. Uh, there's one. Oh, got him good. Damn. Hooked him nice. All right, there he is, guys. Bass number one on the new Daiwa. Let him go back in there. It's got a lot of vegetation on this water. Let's see if we can't get back on another one. As you know, going with my easy new shad color. On my 20 pound braid. Hopefully, we can get into a couple more like that. That's a decent sized fish. Pretty much destroyed my swim bait. But, we'll hook him again, see if I can't get one more fish out of him. You guys haven't tried these swim baits yet. It's the uh, Gambler. Easy swimmer. Nice bait. It's my go-to now. As of lately, it's been my go-to bait. I love it. See if we can't get another hook up. That one's just sitting here in this pocket right here. Oh, coming over to Lily's. See if he's got any buddies sitting in this pocket. Felt the little nibble was out there a little ways. If there's anything else sitting around in here. I there might be something sitting in this drain here. Guess not. Usually they're pretty, pretty good for holding fish, drains and what have you. So far the T-wing system's not too bad. Cast pretty good, in my opinion. I want to get another hook up, what I want. Oh, got him. Oh, he's way out in those weeds. Let's see if I can't horse him over that stuff, guys. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get him out of there. Well, let's see if the braid holds up with the whole fish on the end of it. Come on, baby. Dang, he's down in there. Tighten that dragon notch. Oh, he's way buried in that stuff. I don't think I'm getting him out. Oh. It wasn't giant, probably another two pounder or so. Oh, he might still be on. Let's see what we got here. Nope, I think he's off. I'm just pulling straight lilies now. Yep, straight lilies, he's off. Damn. Nope. He's on. He's a baby kicker, guys. No way. He's a little guy, but he's on there. He just felt good because he had so much lily pads on him. There he is, guys. Bass number two. 
He's a baby little guy. Look at him. He's a scrawny little thing. Let's get him back in the water. Hey, you're going the wrong way, guy. There you go. All right, well, that bait's completely destroyed now. Let's get out another one. There's a little promo right there. Gambler. New easy. The easy swimmer, new shad. Great bait, guys. You guys can see that pretty well. It's raining out here. I don't know how much water I got on my camera lens. But I'm doing the best I can for you guys out here today. Again, with all this rain, stay tuned. Guys, same corner. There he is. Bass number three on the new combo. Did a little easy shab. Paying off for me. Oh, this rain's really helped me out out here. It's got these fish fired up. Another baby, but I'll take it. Let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water. Same, same corner, third bass. About the fourth cast. It's buried down in the weeds somewhere. Come on. The smart little bat. Oh, snapped me off. Right, well, this is where they've been holding lately. So I'm coming back here after I just snapped off on that last one, which was probably a much better fish, but I'm not 100% sure because it was wrapped in the weeds. So I'll hang out here for a little bit and see if I can't get to another one without getting too roped off in these lilies. Once the lilies get at me, I can get them out. So I got such nice power pro on here for pulling lilies and everything but every once in a while the break on you oh i thought the little tug right there must have been a baby it's a little tug nothing substantial they've been holding around this little pocket so i'm just going to give it a little bit more time here before i continue around the water See if I can't hook up to another one. Oh, there's a small one. I felt the nibbling. Not really what I was after, but I will take him if he hits it. it. Gives it a solid bump instead of these little nibbles that they're giving it. I'll sink this three out into him. By the way, I got a three out Gamagatsu. If it ain't Gamagatsu, that's why you missed them. Shots out the Peacock Pete, Dean Nasty Fishing, and the one and only Dom Piscato. Oh, got a lot of lily pad that time. Dropped it in that little pocket right there. Maybe there's a fish sitting in it. Nope. So the only thing I don't enjoy is fighting these lily pads, guys. But that's where the fish are, so you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? The three that were sitting here are already been hooked up. I'm gonna move on. I'm on another one, guys. He's trying to wrap me in the lilies, and it seems like he's doing a great job. Oh, he's in there deep. He's wrapped in there good. Ah. See if I can't get him out without popping his line. He's deep in there. It's a little bigger than the last couple, but he is deep. And the lilies, he's pulling good. Let's keep tension on him. Let's see if I can wear him out. Unless he got off, he's the one hook him. Oh, nope. He's still on it, feeling pulling. He's wrapped in there deep, though. Come on, baby, free up a little bit. See if he's still there. Oh, he's still there. He's still on. Am I gonna be able to get him out of here, though? Oh, he's pulling hard. Oh, I freed him. 
There he is. No, he's not that big. If I can just get him up, there he is. There he is. I got him, guys. Let's hope there's no giant gators. I'm going in after him. Here we go. Oh, that's mucky. Come on, baby, where are you? No, you're in there, there he is. Got him, guys. Decent one. Definitely better than the last couple. Decent guy right there. All right, nice hookup. Well, so far, ladies and gentlemen, Google's Maps is paying off for me. Look at that guy. Not bad at all. Shots out to hook him in the mouth fishing. Appreciate the support, brother. Shots out to hook him in the mouth. As you can see, he's hooked right in the mouth. All right, that's number four. So far the hookup ratio has been good. I only missed one. To those nice strong lilies. Broke me off. There we go. That's it. These bass are healthy guys. No parasites on them or nothing. Just nice fish. Quality fish. There he goes. Back home, buddy. All right, stay tuned, guys. See if I can get some more. Got the hit. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I lost him to these damn weeds. Come on, baby. Don't tell me I lost you to these weeds. Ah, not to the little. Oh, it's a little guy. All right, there's number five. It's another little guy. But I'll take him, guys. There he is, number five. The little hole's holding some fish. Nothing, nothing giant or anything, but I'm still getting on some fish. Regardless, you know. And that's what I came to do. Test out this new rod and reel. See how it holds up. Get on a few, pit, a few fish. I like a giant, but biggest so far was only about two pounds. Keep pushing on and see what happens. Stay tuned. Well guys, it's a day of the dinks, but we're getting on them. It's number six. I got him good. I got him with a double hook up. Went right through his cheek and everything. Look at that. It's a day of the dinks, guys. Day of the old dinks. There you go, little man. Go back home. I was hoping to maybe catch me a five or four or five pounder, which I'm not giving up yet. But uh, this is a pretty good sized body of water. But it's yet to put out anything bigger than two pounds. So I just gotta keep pushing along and see. Well, I can't do it. Well, I need a new bait. That one's destroyed. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Come on, little man. All right, guys. There's another little one. Number seven. I'll take them. A little better than the last few. Uh, oh, got him right in, the, right in the top of the tongue. Look at that. Uh, let's go ahead and get it on out of there. At least he didn't swallow it, brother. Boy, he hit it right when it hit the water, guys. That little guy. That little guy there was super hungry, guys. He was hungry as hell. As you can see, I'm dealing with a lot of rain out here, which is actually helping out pretty well. Getting on a lot of fish out here. With all this rain. That's seven fish. I've been here maybe maybe 45 minutes now maybe a little longer i'm really been keeping track of the time really but uh i'm getting on the fish that's a good thing this little pond well i wouldn't say little it's good size really been paying off 
I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of rain, I'm wet as all can be, but I'm enjoying it. Well, that was a bite. Something followed me up and hit me. Well, must have been tiny because he didn't really get a good... Sure, it looked like he grabbed the tail or something. But it could be still sitting there, who knows? I know he didn't feel no barb, so... Uh, there's a good chance he'll hit again. And I'll take him for number eight. Tell you what, I lost a few. It's been rough out here in these lily pads. Whole place has got lily pads all the way around it. Oh, maybe he felt the bar, but he didn't hit again. He's pitching out there into the deep to see what happens. Go ahead and speed it up a little bit. See if I can't entice a bite. Guys, little bass just jumped in the weeds there. <laughs>